there! I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited to be here with you today to show you my soft makeup for mature skin. Yes, this is a makeup that I have been using and loving for probably six or nine months. As those of you who follow my channel know, I really haven't done hardly any makeup videos at all and that's because I have kind of found what I really like to use and so, you know, the idea of just going and buying new makeup just because it's new uh, isn't something that I love because I really like to share with you the things that I do use and enjoy. Although I have to say I am starting to get into the idea of purchasing some new makeup again. So that may change a little bit. I might do some experimenting. And if you're not a subscriber yet to the 50 Plus Beauty family, I hope you'll subscribe. And when you click that little bell that just notifies you of my future videos. And I like to say this is for 50 Plus Beauties, but if you're a beauty in your 30s or 40s, sometimes it helps to have an older YouTuber, that would be me, in your subscribe list so that you can see what older women are doing to keep themselves looking as young and fresh as possible. Okay, let me get into this and I'll be showing you the makeup look that I have on my face today. And it includes two of my favorite things. The first is the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. And I absolutely love this. And in fact, it is very hard to get myself away from using this palette. As you can see, there it is. And if you look up close, I am really out. I've hit pan on several of the colors there. You can't see that. But I just can hardly bring myself to use anything else. These colors are so natural and they're neutral, which I really like. There are a lot of palettes out there right now that are warm palettes, and that might suit you, but I really don't like the super warm palettes. I think it makes me look like a sick bunny. I look kind of, you know, red-eyed, yellow-eyed. That's not a good look for me. So I really do like all these more neutral tones, but you have a lot of great brown colors in here and some wonderful kind of shimmery colors, but they're not too crazy shimmer that we can't get away with it when we're a little bit older. So this is a great palette and I'll be showing you that in this video. And I am really excited about this. And here is something that I was sent from BK Beauty. And thank you so much for sending me these brushes. And I will say that the makeup tutorial that I will be showing you in this video, I did maybe about six weeks ago when I first got these brushes, but I have to say I have started using these exclusively. I no longer use any of my other brushes at all, and I have a ton of brushes. And one thing that you'll see when, when I go through this is, I think I showed you this the very first day, maybe the first week that I got these brushes, but now I've been using them for about six weeks, and look how beautifully blended my makeup is. My eyeshadow is not harsh, it is very soft, which we really need as we get to be a little more mature. My blush is nice and blended out. My foundation is beautiful, and in this video I'll be showing you her foundation brush, which is this one right here, and what is it? It is the 101 foundation brush, and I absolutely love this. As those of you who have followed my channel know, I have been using a different kind of a brush. I can't remember what it's called. Hold on, I'll get it for you. Here it is, and this is the brush that I was using, but ever since I got the BK Beauty brushes in, I have been using only this one, and it is wonderful. And if you have problems with your foundation looking streaky, or if you have problems where you look just kind of, you know, a little bit wrinkly, and your, your caverns look more cavernous, then this will really blend it out just beautifully. Look at all those thousands of little tiny bristles, and what I do is I spray this with setting spray, and I'll show you that in the video, but it just absolutely nulls out everything that you have on your face and gives you a beautifully clean foundation canvas from which to work from in terms of adding your other makeup. Some of the other brushes I love are her eye brushes, and here they are, and there's a link below the video to all of these brushes, but here are the little eye brushes. This is one of my favorites, which is if you like to do an underline shadow liner, this is a fabulous brush, and I'll show you that in the video. Absolutely can't be beat. Here is an angled brush that I sometimes use in the outer corner. Absolutely great eye brushes. Now, another brush that I totally love in this, whoops, I dropped one, is this fabulous powder brush. Look at that. It is absolutely the best powder brush I have ever used. Look at all those little tiny bristles. 
and it just absolutely puts that powder on your face, spreads it out, gives you an airbrushed kind of a flawless finish. And if you are in need of a full set of makeup brushes, again, the link is below the video, to get the complete set of all of your face brushes and all of your eye brushes, this could be the only set you ever use. It is absolutely wonderful. And I think it is so good and blends out the makeup so well because Lisa J is a wonderful makeup artist and has been for many years. So these just aren't some brushes that were created in China. She worked on each one to make sure it was totally functional and that it really did blend out all of your makeup beautifully. And I have Sigma brushes, I have Morphe brushes. You would not believe the number of brushes that I have. And with all the brushes that I have, in terms of a complete set, there is nothing that I have found that is better than this, and I am now using them every day and have no plans to discontinue that. Another thing that I like about Lisa J's brand, the BK Beauty Brushes, is that BK stands for Be Kind. And I think that's what we've been lacking in this world is just some simple kindness, so I love that. And in an effort to be kind, Lisa J donates a percentage of all of her brush sales to a charity. For instance, during the COVID situation, she was donating meals, which was just wonderful. So anyway, I guess I've talked enough about this. Let me show you the application of this makeup. Okay, let's get started here. And I always do my eyes first. Maybe for the last couple of months, I've realized that you get a lot of fallout when you apply your eyeshadow. And so it's nice to be able to do that first. It's not quite as rewarding because there's something about putting foundation all over your skin and blush before you do your eyes that just kind of wakes you up and makes you look better. But in terms of just the proper way to apply your eye makeup, I really think that's the way to do it. And I'm going to be using my favorite eyeshadow palette, and it's definitely my favorite. This is the Natasha Denona, <laughs> Natasha Denona Glam Palette. And so here we go, and I'm going to be using the 203 brush, which is the Lid Packing Powder Brush. Love this brush. And here it is. I'm just going to use this color, and as you can tell, this little mix of silver and gold. And what is it? It is called, oh, it's called Inner Corner. Nice. So I'll start it on the inner corner, and then I'll just pack it right here on the lid, and that would be the lid, Beth. There we go. And see, it just packs the color very, very nicely in there. And I did use a little bit of a primer, and it was the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. I love that one, very, very reasonable. It's kind of like every YouTuber's go-to, and there's a reason for that. It's an absolutely great eyeshadow primer, very inexpensive. Has a little bit of a beige cast, which is nice to start getting rid of the discoloration on your eyes. So there's that lid color. Now I'm going to go in and do a little bit using the same brush, the 203, using a little bit on the brush. I'll just go in and uh, pack a little bit of underbrow color there. What do they call this? I wonder if they call it underbrow. No, they call it transition. But I think that's a little light for a transition. And I'm just going to put that all over the upper brow just to give it a little bit of an accent and to null out the discoloration up there, which kind of exists all over your eyes. Make sure to get the inner corner of the whole brow area. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to go in, whoa, I'm dropping brushes everywhere. Now I'm going to go in with this crease brush and it is the 201. And I'm going to be using the color called Crease. Funny that it's called Crease, it kind of makes sense. And start where you want the uh, most packed color, which will start on the outside. And just do a little windshield wiper motion right there. I love this because the bristles are so diffuse that they're giving me a beautiful wash of color and it isn't an intense color. It's much more natural than some of the other brushes I've used. Dip in there again. And again, start where you want the most color on the outside corner there. Look how beautifully that is applying the color in such a natural way. And it is just making it look like a crease, which is great. You're just darkening your natural crease. And these bristles are just so diffuse that it is almost blending as it goes, which is wonderful. So there is that crease color. Darken it up just a little bit. That's where I make my mistake sometimes is I do like dramatic color. So I keep going in, making it maybe a little bit darker. There we go, there's for that crease. Now I'm going to go in with the 206 brush with the same color. I'm going to darken it up just a little bit on the outside. There we go. This is a smaller version of the previous brush, a little more well-packed. So as you can see, it is definitely darkening that color. 
So there we are so far. Now I'm going to dip into it again and I'll put a little bit on the outer corner using the same brush. A little bit for the outer V. This is a nice way to do the outer V. There we go. Just kind of put that in that outer V and you are just making a little V there. I guess that makes a lot of sense. Now I'm going to do something that's a little controversial and that is something I really like. Especially if you have brown eyes, I think it really does help. I like a little bit of blue in that outer corner. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And I'm using the Color Me Beautiful eyeshadow in the color teal. I think it's called Teal Zeal. Whoa, ah, there it is. It is a very, very poppy color. To do that, I'm going to be using the BK Beauty Brush 207. And I absolutely love this brush. Very dense bristles there. Just a little bit on the tip. And then we're just going to go into the corner. Just put a little bit on that outer corner, a little bit in the outer V area, just a tad bit. Then we're going to go on, on the other side and do the same. I just think that little bit of blue just adds sparkle to brown eyes. Now having done the creases, I'm going to go ahead and pack on a little more, a little more powder on the lid using the 203. And next, I'm going to go in and do a little eyeliner, and I've been loving this Flower Beauty brand eyeliner, and it is called the Forever Wear Liner, and it really does stay all day. It's absolutely wonderful. And I'm using the color Sapphire. Take that line across there. And again, I think the blue just gives a little sparkle to brown eyes. So now the liner is applied, and off camera, I'm going to apply my mascara and my eyebrows. Okay, I have the mascara and brows applied, and for the mascara, I used the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. And then for the brows, I used my all-time favorite, which I've been using for months. And this is the Pure Eye Brow product in light. Really, really like that one. And I will say that I forgot to go in and line my lower lashes. And I did that with a little bit of that Teal Zeal right there. And I went ahead and used this great BK Beauty brush. It is the 204. And this is one of the standouts to me of all of their brush collection is this little well-defined tip brush that goes right in under there and does beautiful eyeliner. Really, really like that one. Now you're going to see why I uh, really do like to do the eyes first because I do have a mess under the eyes. And I think it's right here. Yes, I've got some mascara. And so what you do is you just go in and clean that up and if you want to define this outer eye area, you can just kind of bring that up like that just to make sure that everything goes up, which is good, especially as we get to be a little more mature. We want to drag those lines up, not down. So there we go. Okay, now let's go in and do foundation. And this is absolutely one of the standout brushes of the collection, and I'm loving this. I normally use a paddle brush, but I have switched to this and absolutely love it. This is the BK Beauty 101. And as you can see, it goes up like this and it has a very well-defined little tip. It is super, super dense here, super dense. I don't know if you can see that, but it really does take the foundation and put it into the pores. And uh, I have big pores. I've had oily skin pretty much my whole life. I had acne until I was like past 50 years old, um, maybe well into my 50s. And it was very frustrating to have wrinkles and pimples. <laughs> not good. So just dot the foundation all over the face there. And then I just take this 101 brush and I spray it with a little bit of all nighter setting spray. That's that Urban Decay. One, two, three, four, four. <laughs> I'm running out of the spray there. And now I'm just going to use a little close up mirror to make sure I get it right. But you just start packing it into the face first and under the eyes. And it really does a gorgeous job of nulling out the large pores. And I drag it a little bit down onto the neck just to make sure that the neck kind of matches. And then you can take it and just kind of blend out the color like that once you've smashed it into the pores. There we go on the pores. There we go. It is beautifully soft. And I love it because you don't get streaks with this brush. It is absolutely flawless in terms of its application of the foundation on your face. Very, very, very nice brush. Very unusual too. I've never seen a foundation brush that has that angled feature to it, but I think it really just 
helps you place the foundation exactly where you want it. It's easy to get in under the eyes with that brush and it is super soft. Okay, there's the foundation. Now let's go in with a little concealer and this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. And I do not use this for brightening, so I just use it like in the creases of the nose where I have a little bit of darkness and also my chin. I have a divot in my chin, which I've always had. I remember when I did TV news, I had a makeup person who, um, and, and I'm not saying I had one all the time, but she came in and did my makeup and she was like, oh, your chin's a little weird, <laughs> and, it, and it is. Then for brightening under my eyes and concealing, I'm using this e.l.f. Cosmetics Concealer. Absolutely love this. Just do a few drops there. Now, to blend the concealer, I'm going in with this BK Beauty sponge. As you can see, it just beautifully smashes that into the skin. Then we'll come up here. And I like that the little tip can really get into the nose area where we all have a little bit of darkness. See how that just nulls out that concealer and it just blends it. And I had been using a brush under my eyes, but I noticed that Lisa J was using this sponge and it really does just blend it beautifully to where your concealer disappears, but so does all the darkness, which is just great. Now next, I'm going to go in on the inner corners with this L'Oreal True Match in Peach. And what it does is it takes up that dark color even further. You can see I still kind of have it there. And I've used this for years and I really like it. It's very inexpensive. Okay, next I'm going to go in and put on some powder. And this is the L'Oreal Hydra Perfect Powder, and it is in the color 916 Translucent. And I think a translucent face powder is always a good idea. Just put a little bit there in the cap, in the lid. And this is an absolutely fabulous BK Beauty powder brush, and this is the 102. And I absolutely love this brush because it is very dense, but yet diffuse at the end. It has a wonderful tip. So you just dip in there, Woo, get rid of some of that. And this just allows you just to put powder where you want it. And I'm just using the tip. And I'm not really taking the powder to the outside of my face. And that's a tip. When we get to be a little bit older, we just really want to decrease the shine. This is an absolutely fabulous powder brush. Just to give you that natural, natural look and nail out the oil. Now next I'm going to go in to do some blush, and this is the BK Beauty 104, and this is a wonderful blush brush. I have never used one that is, you know, as long as this one. It's long, but yet it is very pointed at the tip, and that is great for getting that outer corner. And I basically just use the tip on this, but this gives a super, super natural looking blush. And I'm using one of my favorites, and this is the, what is it? It is the Ju Contrast Blush. It's a Chanel blush, a little more expensive, but really beautiful. And this is in the color Rose Fatal, beautiful little pink color. I'll just dip that tip. And then you'll just put that blush on and always go to the top of your cheeks. Don't go down on the apple because as we get older, things start to fall, <laughs> including our cheeks, and we don't want them to. So keep the color high, not low. And this little tip again can just blend that out beautifully. And I always put a little bit in the forehead right there because I just think it kind of blends the color together. So there's the blush. Always gotta add a little more. Now next I'm going to go in with a little contour and highlighter. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow, and this is my absolute favorite. And I'm going to be using two of the BK Beauty brushes to do that. For the contour, I'll be using the 107. And there's a look at that brush. I'm just going to suck in. And I am kind of rectangular and I stick out here. So I'm going to try to bring that in a little bit. A little bit on the chin area. A little bit on the sides of the nose. I just pinch the brush together like that. A 
Do a little bit on the forehead. Love this brush, beautiful brush. Very soft too. There we go, now let's go in with some highlighter. And I'm going to be using the BK Beauty 108. Dip in there. And I like this highlighter because it is good for us more mature women. It's not super stroby at all. Just a little bit of a lightness there. But not headlights, which is good. A little bit of Cupid's bow. Okay, there is the contour and highlighter. Okay, next I'm going to be doing lips, and I'm going to be using two different lipsticks with that. The first is the MAC lipstick, and you wouldn't get it, which is just a little, little rosy nude color. And as you can see, I have demolished the end of that. So there is that color. And now just to soften it up a little bit, I'm going to be going in with the Flower Beauty brand lipstick in the color Spiced Petal, which is a great dupe for Pillow Talk. There is that color, very, very pretty. And so that just took it down a notch. Next, I'm going to go in with a little bit of lip liner and I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the color Super Size Me. Grab a mirror over here. Just a little brownie nude. So there are the lips before gloss. Now I'm going to add a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss in the color Pillow Talk. And that should take down a little bit of that pink. Mostly on the middle there. Just to kind of plump out the lips just in the middle. Now, because I'm showing you my favorites, I did want to show you my pressed powder that I use. And I have used this for a couple of years. This is probably the third one I've had. And again, it's Charlotte Tilbury. She does beautiful powders. And this is their Airbrush Flawless Finish in the color 2 Medium. And I'll just dab a little bit of that on my nose. I don't think I need it too badly. But I do keep this in my purse. And it is a beautiful powder. If you want something supernatural that does really keep the oil down, this is perfect. Well, that was a look at my makeup application for aging skin. And I will tell you that, you know, the last of the video, you can see it was a little harsher there because I hadn't used these brushes for very long. But compare that with how my makeup looks now. Over time, you know, you start really good with these makeup brushes, but over time, it helps your application be even better, even more natural. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and I'll go ahead and choose these Power Thoughts cards by Louise Hay. Here we go. I just grabbed one. I have like four card decks out there. We'll go ahead and choose a card, hopefully a good one to think about for today. Ooh, that's a good one. I love and accept myself. I love and accept myself. I appreciate all that I do. <laughs> I am good enough just as I am. I speak up for myself. I ask for what I want. I claim my power. Oh friends, this is an absolutely wonderful card and no matter where you are in life as a woman in this society, it is time for all of us to claim our power. That is super important. And to do that, we really need to love and accept ourselves enough to ask for what we want, to speak up for ourselves, to realize that we are good enough just as we are, although it is fun to add nice hair and makeup. So friends, as you're going through your day today, I hope you will stand up for yourself and claim your own power. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.